looking at me. They're still sitting there. That yeah, was another beautiful intersection, no problems. The guy behind me is in a bit of a rush, if you couldn't tell. He's going to love the next section. <laughs> now, actually, it does really go up. We'll see how it does. Now, that blinker into the other lane bothers me because there's another, there's an area up here where it's done that in the past a few times, and this week it's been really good at not doing it. So now I'm wondering if that area is going to be back to doing the blinker into the turn, into the, it's coming out of a turn, blinker comes on, and it kind of crosses the yellow. Um, it's done that twice to me. Um, but this week has been really good, so I thought we were clear of it. I thought it was over. Oh, this guy's going to get mad at me now. He wants to go back. I got you. I got you, guy. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can make it. No, he's still, he's waiting. He can't make it. All right, well, then you're still there. I got nothing for you then, dude. What are you honking? You're honking. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> Driving me nuts. Honk, honk, honk. Screw you. What are you honking? I'm doing nothing wrong. I got cars in front of me. Where do you want me to go? Let me go 40 miles an hour into the back of the guy in front of me. Honk. Get out of here. Get out of here. Mr. Snuffleupagus doing Snuffleupagus type things, honking his horns. Honking his horns like a windmill or something. Who does he think he is, Mr. Cheese Face? Mr. Cheese Face in the corner honking his horns. Uh, all right, we are coming into some beautiful chicane. I call it the chicane. Uh, yeah, and it has been really good through here. You saw that, no problem. It's a tight, tight corner. It did not have an issue. <coughs> we come up here into our uh, long sweeping right. We're gonna hit a, a decent, it's like a curve, then into a, another steeper curve. Uh, handles it beautifully. Slow down and pre brake. Boom. Hit it. Hit it. And it, it's just, it's hitting its marks right. This guy is causing me trouble. You're messing me up. It's doing good. The guy's turning. Perfect. Right? Here we go. Oh, look at this guy cutting out in front of us. Jerk. Car's not happy. We're going to go here. We're going to make it through. Ah! Everybody's acting a fool. That guy's on the wrong side of the road. We're good. I gave it a little gas pedal, but we're good. There's that heavy brake in the middle of the turn I was talking about. Now, let's see. This is the blinker area, let's see. No, we're okay. We're okay. I see something. They tweak something. I can feel it in that turn. I can feel it want to do it. Something has been tweaked from yesterday. Still doing good. Hoping this weekend we get the next update. Uh, they were, they said it went out to uh, uh, Homar's uh, blog. Said it, Homar's catalog said it went out to um, to beta to uh, employees, employee beta testers. So hopefully, it's only a dot update though. It's not the big one that Elon was talking about. That would said he said there was a big one coming that was going to be a revision update. Uh, and every, I, I know I am, and I know a lot of other people are hoping that we're going to get off the dot uh, twenty version and move to the dot thirty six version. But uh, we're not sure. We're not sure when that's coming. I know Elon said one more week, so we're, I was kind of hoping that it would be this week. But they're throwing a dot uh, dot four uh, sixty nine. Dot two dot four out there, still based on the dot twenty build of software, but beta sixty nine dot two dot four. I don't know why, unless they're just. I mean, I get. I, my guess is there's a back end improvement or something they want to cross check before they send out the big version. So like they probably are baking that into the dot four, and you know checking one piece of it before they put it into the overall full update. So pretty cool that they could do that too. And it's wild because 
This Dot 6.9 has been updated on a weekly basis, which is really awesome. And, and you would think that I would, I would, I would have thought like in the beta when I first got in, I thought it was going to be that way. Like every week or so, you'd get an update because the neural nets would train the data, the data would come down, the car would improve. And I thought it would be like a weekly thing until we hit the March 9s. Um, but it didn't turn out to be that. It turned out to be a month or two in between software updates. Um, which I thought was weird, but then I noticed that uh, when I checked my Wi-Fi, the car is actually uh, uploading and downloading a little bit every day. Just a little bit. Um, but it's uploading like 25 gigs. They're taking a whole ton of data from my car. Um, and I wasn't sure... Like if that little smidge makes a difference, and I feel like it does. Like you see, today I had a different drive than the drive I had yesterday. Um, you know, it's just been different. Speed up a little here. Um, but so far, so good. I mean, besides from Honky McGee there, who thought I was taking the turns too slow for his liking, because I need to be in a rush, because he's in a rush. Um, and uh, the one freaking turn, unmarked turn, because it's been so good through that unmarked turn. I was, you know, the it, it really had like an 80% success rate. And I'm sure if you go back a couple videos, you'll see that it's made that turn plenty of times. Today, different, and I don't know why. But, yeah, yeah, that, I don't know, that one was a little freaky one was a little freaky a little heavy on the brakes there too could definitely use the a little smoothing out which i'm sure is coming i'm sure that's not a a hard thing to do but it could definitely use a little smoothing out brake wise like see something breaks a little or just steps off rather than breaking step off to get oh, see the blinker came on here and i didn't trust it i wasn't happy because a lot of times i'll hear that blinker come on and that's when things will go awry. And it seems to think it's like switching lanes or something. But once once I heard that blinker, I said, that's it, I don't trust you in this turn no more. And I just took over. And that's how easy it is to take over, too. Don't let people fool you and tell you, oh, you can't take it over. You can see it drifted a little bit. It caught just the edge of the strip there. We're gonna give them that clip to see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, you want to take over you can take over there's about a hundred different ways the first one hit the brake hit the brake everything goes off uh, I, I can tap up on this controller we'll give me a break there's a brake. I'm in control cars on my control double tap down cars back in Tesla's control you hear the audible warning you hear the the steering wheel cars driving all right now I'm gonna tap up I'm gonna pull up on the stock oh shit pull up on stock I'm in control right back in the beta what it's gonna do something weird pull the wheel on the control back in the beta it's that easy there's multiple different ways so a lot of the times when i'm doing this stuff and i'm in areas if i'm in a place i don't know i will actually drive with my hand i don't know if you guys can see that now it's so dark i don't know if this helps or hurts probably should put lights i'll keep my hand right here and i keep it over the like so I've got two things I can do right here. Clamp and up, and I'm in control. Clamp and up, and I'm in control, right? Then back down to get back in, but literally just keep my hand right here, and this way I can feel the wheel moving, I can give it a nudge if I have to to get rid of a ding, and then I can easily stalk up to, to, uh, take, to, put it, to take over control. So a lot of times that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll be using all three of these methods on a daily basis to take control over if something goes wrong. But, I mean, you know, like I said, I haven't had to do too much disengaging. It's been uh, just a couple intersections, like you saw, that just are not uh, there yet. You know, like uh, that one in Westchester, or the two in Westchester, are just, uh, it did it, it, like I said, two days ago, it made that one perfect. Today, not so much. The other one with the four corners, I don't know when, if, that, if it's ever gonna do that. That one's such a hideous intersection. Just it, definition of intersections, that's a bad intersection. Um, 
and you know over here it's been really good and the turns have been getting smoother and more responsive you can definitely feel it say okay i've got it let's go um right into our road a little slower than usual but good no problems there there you go and we are uh oof. i mean we didn't disengage through that one screw up i did disengage in that uh, turn there because it got a little spotty. I wonder if it's just because it's dark out. I wonder what it is that is driving it nuts today. Okay, here. Um, you can just definitely feel the difference. But what is going on here? Holy brights, Batman. Right. See what happens here. Should be stopping. I am so blind that I can't see the damn thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was beautiful. Sometimes it has a tendency to freak out that intersection. Um, not intersection, but that turn. It has a tendency to go into like a, like, and kind of move to the left a little. It did perfect there. Slow down, come to a stop, wait for the car to pass, make your move. That was beautiful. My chef's kiss. Tesla, you crazy bastards how are you doing this it's unbelievable uh i am slowing down to a snail space because of the speed bump and actually i'm just gonna disengage for the speed bump because it's going a little too fast doesn't see that speed bump yet and it uh it hits it way too fast for my liking and we're gonna make our last turn here